Bonjour. Nous allons parler des pronoms relatifs. We're going to talk about relative pronouns today. Relative pronouns link relative clauses. For example, that is a woman. She eats snails. We want to link them, so we would say that is the woman who eats snails. Usually who is an interrogative, meaning it asks a question, like who stole the cookies from the cookie jar. But in this case, it's a relative pronoun because it links two relative phrases, relative clauses, that otherwise would have to be separate sentences. When you use relative pronouns in French, it sounds like very proper English when you translate it directly. For example, there are our friends. We ate lunch with those friends. When you use a relative pronoun, it becomes there are the friends with whom we ate lunch. Sounds like very proper English, but in fact, this is how you're supposed to say it in English. We've gotten away from this with modern language, but uh, in French, you cannot say there are the friends we ate lunch with. You can never end a sentence with a preposition like with. The relative pronoun don't, pronounced don't, not don't, don't, is used with phrases that always take de, such as j'ai besoin de, I have need of. So in French, you could say that is the pen of which I have need. So we would replace this of which with the pronoun don't because it's linking these two phrases. I have need of and that is the pen. So we would not be able to say in French that is the pen I have need of because you can't end a sen sentence with a preposition of, with, by, who, things like that. Okay, So that's why we have to have this of which in the middle of the sentence to link the two clauses, not at the end. So don't replaces de, but it also links those two relative clauses. For example, j'ai besoin d'un stylo, voilà le stylo. I have need of a pen, there is the pen. So we could link them using don't, Voilà le stylo dont j'ai besoin. There is the pen of which I have need. That eliminated the fact that we would need this de in here because de, which means of, is included in dont. And so we don't have to put it at the end, which is not allowed by grammar rules. Instead, it's right here in the middle of which. Sometimes it can mean of whom if you're talking about a person instead. So let's try one of these. Dantes fait la connaissance de l'abbé Faria. We know we can use the don't thing here because we have a phrase that uses de. So this is Dantes makes the acquaintance of Abbot Faria. Dantes fait la connaissance de l'abbé Faria. So we're going to switch this around and say it is Abbot Faria of whom Dantes makes the acquaintance. So we have to start with it is, which is simply c'est. Okay, now we need Abbot Faria, c'est l'abbé Faria. Our second part, our second clause is Dantes makes the acquaintance. So we're going to put that there. But now we need to link these with a relative pronoun, of whom. Our relative pronoun that means of whom is don't. So now we have it is Abbot Faria of whom Dantes makes the acquaintance. We don't need this de because it's already included in don't. Because if we just kept the de, it'd have to go at the end, but that's not allowed, you already know. So it is the Abbot Faria of whom Dantes makes the acquaintance. Like I said earlier, it sounds like really proper English, sounds kind of weird when you say it in English, but it's correct French, and this is what you would hear if you went to France using this don't. Now, why would we use this? If we could have said it the way we did at the top, why do we have to change this? Well, sometimes you have to change your phrase around because you want to emphasize the fact that it's a certain person or a certain thing that's important. So if somebody said, uh, did Dantes make the acquaintance of the key holder? No, it's Abbot Faria of whom he made the acquaintance. So sometimes you want to really emphasize something and at other times you might want to add another phrase onto the end of this that might make more sense if you phrase it in this particular way. We'll come across this more when we get into writing very heavily. So for now, just practice how it works and we'll look at some more real examples from our reading. So now it's up to you. Dantes a besoin d'un clé. 
Dante has need of a key, you're going to switch it around and you're going to say it's a key of which Dante has besoin. <laughs> Sorry, has need. So you're going to start with C. It is a key of which Dante has need. Try it on your own. <laughs> 